Hello everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. And today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new items that are coming to our store that hopefully will be on your layout real soon. We're going to start out with some Walther's kits here. We actually have pretty much every Walther's kit available. Uh, but I wanted to showcase a couple of the new ones that we got in here. For example, this is the Golden Valley Freight House. That's a great freight uh, station, especially if you have a little freight terminal that you want to create. Uh, this particular one retails for $31.98. We're selling there for $25.58. So it's a very economical price for any building. I got here the Eagle Point Lighthouse. I think this one is really cool, especially because it has a LED light inside of it. Uh, it is a great looking kit, especially if you have a, um, a, a ocean scene or a river scene or something that you need a lighthouse for. I think that is a really neat thing to add to your layout. That particular one sells for $69.98. We're selling it for $55.98. So that is a really cool piece. I have here the City Water Tower, and this one's pretty much already constructed. This one's good to go. This particular one sells for $39.98. We're selling that for $28.11. That is a cool looking piece to add. For our end scale fans, we have out here the Oil Storage Tank. That one sells for $24.98. We're selling that for $19.98. As a really cool looking piece, especially if you have an oil refinery uh, setup. And I thought this one was pretty cool. This is called the Fire Department Drill Tower. So I guess if you have like a little firefighter scene or a little uh, uh, a fire uh, department on your land, you want to come up with like a little training center, we got that happening on here. And that particular one sells for $24.98. We're selling it for $19.98. So these are really cool looking kits, especially if you. Uh, you know, want to get busy, you want to build things, so it's kind of a lost art these days. So if you want to get busy with building some of these kits, we have a whole bunch of them on stock. These are just a smattering of some of the kits that we have upstairs. As you can see, probably one of our first shows that we did, I took you into tour upstairs and you saw literally, I have a whole bunch of Walther's kits. So check out our website if none of these interest you and see what we have because we have a whole bunch. Or if you want to get really intense, I do have one of these guys here. And this is called, uh, this is from the JL Innovation Design. This is the Red Rock Water Tower. And this particular one goes for $23.96. Now, of course, this is kind of for the really high-end modelers, especially if you really uh, want to uh, fine-tune that craftsmanship that you have to build kits. This is probably the direction you want to go when. But if you uh, are kind of the me uh, medium to novice uh, kit builders, I recommend going with the Walters kits. So check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, and see what kits match your level of expertise. All right, now to talk about something different, as Tony Montana would say, say hello to my little friends. Maybe. Anyway, these are the P70s uh, from Broadway Limited, and we have some really great looking cars there. If we could zoom in there, and you can see the amount of detail in it is involved with these cars there. As you can see, each one of them has LED lighting. They all have interiors. They have uh, couplers that are actually just a little bit offset, so that actually prevents them from uncoupling, which is a great uh, resource to have for an end scale item. And I got two different road names available here. I got the Pennsylvania Reading Seashore Lines, and then I got everyone's favorite, the Blue Comet here. Now these are only only coaches that we have here, and we actually have five different ones. There are two two packs, and then there's a single. But these are great looking cars here. We saw a little while ago the uh, HO scale cars that they had available. Well, now the, the N scale people are getting some love here. These cars retail for $59.99. We're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $53.99. These are great looking cars. They have tremendous detailing there. As you can see, if you take a look at the roof, you can see all the various different hatches, all the rivets, everything that you would want to have from a quality Broadway Limited car. And of course, you know what's gonna end up happening is I'm sure Broadway Limited is gonna come out, if they haven't already, with various engines that would go with these cars. So this is your first opportunity to start a really cool looking train. So check out our website, yankeedabbler.com. We have all these cars listed and hopefully we could get these rolling on your layout real soon. I saw some great looking end scale passionate cars where you're probably thinking, what type of engine could I get to pull them? Well, I got a great one here, the Queen and Cena herself, Norfolk and Western number 611. As you can see here, I have the 484 Northern from the Norfolk and Western. Now, this is a Bachman piece, and I know how some of you feel about Bachman. You don't feel like they're up to standards with some of the other manufacturers. But I can assure you that this is a really nice looking piece. As you can see, all the detailing is great. If anyone's ever actually seen the real 611, and you can do that actually now uh, because it's at the Strasburg Railroad up until October. Oh. <laughs> 
uh, you can see that this engine looks pretty accurate to the actual design. Now this is a great looking engine in terms of the streamlining aspect and this engine really was the pinnacle of steam when it came out in 1950. As you can see here, I have all the great detail and features that I would expect from an engine that has DCC. Let's check out what the sheet sounds like. Here is the whistle. Here is the bell. And away we go. I'm having so much fun, I'm, I actually feel like I'm blowing the whistle. is a fun engine for sure and of course if any of you out there want to model the queen and steam in n scale and you don't want to spend a lot of money you're really not going to do any better than this bachman piece uh the retail value for this uh, engine and let me get my cheat sheet out here is 439 dollars but we're selling it here at yankee dabbler for 274.99 so you're actually getting a really quality piece uh, a really nice looking engine for a low price and of course if you type in the engineer hall uh promo code on our website you get an additional five percent off so if you're looking to get that j engine on your railroad come on to yankeedabbler.com so it's time to take it a look at some custom weather pieces that we have here and these are uh pieces that you're not going to see anywhere else but here at yankee dabbler as a matter of fact if you go on our website and type uh go on the category that says custom weather rolling stock you're going to see these pieces listed here let's check out a couple of these now these cars are scale trans cars that are actually custom painted by a artist friend of the store who did a phenomenal job getting these cars all weathered all graffitied up all rusted everything that you would want in a nice uh weathered piece here to make it look like something that you would find on the rail railroad as you can see some of these cars have a lot of grime on it almost to the point where you like barely can see the logos on them uh, as a matter of fact if you take a look at this burlington northern santa fe you can see the logo is still there but it's kind of uh dusted over because it's a well-worn car I got um, Burlington Northern, I got the Kansas City Southern CSX, I got a lot of different cars here that are custom painted. As you can see here, even the wheels, if we could go down here, and you can see that the wheels are even painted there. We got the rust color there, the axles are painted as well. You got the roofs on the top that are all painted and they all have a lot of grime. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at this auto rack here, you can see that I have the silver really shows them a lot of dust and dirt and grime up there. So these are really well painted cars. Now every single one of these goes for a different price so I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of numbers. Instead I'm going to refer you to our website yankeedabbler.com. Check out the custom rolling stock, uh, custom weathered rolling stock tab on our website. It's on the left hand side. You can see what these cars go for and if you get these on your layout, as I was told, these are a work of art and you can have a nice work of art rolling around your railroad today. So come check them out. So we saw some really great looking custom weathered rolling stock pieces, but you're probably thinking what engine could pull these. Well, we also have a custom weather uh, diesel locomotive to check out. So check out this guy here. This is the Atlas Conrail Dash 8.
And if you take a look here, I have just the amount of level of detailing with the weathering as I did with the rolling sack. For example, as you can see, I have the exhaust here coming out. So it's nice and stained. I got the radiator here that has a lot of dust and grime happening. And we take a look around here towards the side of the engine, towards the running boards, you're going to see a lot of dust and dirt build up just like you would see the real railroad. As we all know, engines are not pristine as they appear out of the box. So you get a lot of dirt, you get a lot of grime, you get graffiti, you get all types of stuff happening. So we got these custom weathered engines here for your consideration. As I said, go on the custom weathered section on our website. You can check out the rolling stock, you can check out the diesel locomotives. And these are very limited quantities. We only have each one that you see here, whether it's the rolling stock, whether it's the diesel locomotives, we only have one of each one custom painted that's listed on our website. So as soon as you see it, it might be gone before you uh, make your decision. So if you want, really want to get one of these, check them out because they're not going to last long. We are going to conclude today's show with one of my all-time favorites is, we all know I love steam engines, they are my favorite. We're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite types of steam engines. We're talking about the New York Central Hudson Dreyfus style. Check this out from Broadway Limited. As you can see here, I have a brass hybrid piece. So there are brass uh, pieces involved with this as well as regular die cast metal. As you can see, I have a lot of great detailing. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at the back of the tender, you'll even see some warning labels there. This is just a really cool looking engine, especially if you're modeling the Streamline era, which was really one of the last hurrahs for steam. You can see a lot of really cool looking uh, this detailing and pieces here for steam engines as you can see here i have the drivers this is what we call the skull and disc drivers there and it just looks so cool with a two-tone gray color uh those uh, drive across really make this stand out this is a great looking piece this is one of my all-time favorite steam engines and as you can see broadway limited did a phenomenal job now of course time to hear what it sounds like all aboard all right, so as you see, you get the dynamo sound uh, getting that headlight warmed up. As you see, it's a good smoker. Here is the whistle. Here is the bell. And away we go. Let's highball her, shall we? Stops on the dime, too. So that's a great looking piece, and as I said, uh, Broadway Limited does a phenomenal job with all the detailing that they do with these locomotives, all the sounds, the sights. I mean, that is a great looking smoker. Make sure you use the Broadway Limited smoke fluid in those uh, steam engines there, but it is a great um, looking piece to add to your collection. It is a little bit pricey because of all the brass construction as well as the um, you know, the steam engines just tend to go for more money, but you're really going to the head of the class with a piece like that. So come into Yankee Dabbler, check it out, and don't forget that Engineer Hall discount give you an additional 5% off, so that will be a nice pretty penny to save on a great looking locomotive. 
So we took a look at a lot of great looking uh, products here today. And as I mentioned before, you can check out everything on our website, yankeedabbler.com. You can check out all the things that we looked at today and much, much more. Or if you're in the area, we're located in Belmar, New Jersey. You can check out our store. We're open Tuesday through Saturdays, 9 o'clock to 5. So come on in, check out, uh, check us out. You can see everything in the world, for everything from Z gauge to G. So come on in and see what we got available and hopefully get some things on your layout. Thank <laughs> you.